Hello there, this is Dave Allen for NoStylus.com and also for Mac 20 Questions and even for VideoMagical.com. And today I'm going to have a quick look at iMovie and see what we can do with it. This is iMovie for iPad. And when you first get in there, you see something that looks a bit like, um, well, it's a wall. And you've got a thing that might be in front of a cinema. And you have a list of your projects in there. So let's have a look and see what we can do with it. Okay, so let's kind of press on the plus button at the bottom. I'm going to start a new project. And you'll see in my last video that I worked out how to get videos onto the iPad that I'd taken with the iPhone. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to select that one at the top there. And you can see that you can use the yellow button there to move the in point and out point. Well, let's take that as an in point and we'll move that over there. We'll take that as an out point. I'm just kind of guessing with this here anyway. So and then when you've done that, you can actually sort of click on the play button there and get to play. And if it's uh, kind of what you want, you just click on that button there and it goes into the timeline. You don't get the drag and drop sort of thing that you get with Pinnacle, but well, this is just as good anyway. Now we've got it in the timeline. You can do more things with it once you've got there. You've got those yellow buttons there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two fingers and just squeeze it in a bit just to uh, make it fit on the timeline a bit better. So if you tap on the actual clip there in the timeline, then you get these little yellow dots again that you can use to trim it. So this time I'm going to trim it and just put it into the center there. Now I'll do a double tap on that there and I can put a title in there. So let's put an opening title in there. Tapped on this uh, actual box with the uh, little uh, outline around it and I'm going to put wizard gold in there. Okay, see what we've got there. We've got um, a dark sort of veg coming across the, the screen there and the uh, title is inside that there. So that, let's see when we play it. It comes in from the left hand side there and I would imagine it's going to zip back out again after the video has been playing a little while. What about if I just take that bit there, maybe if I want that title just on to be part of it, so I'll tap on that. I'm going to split this. Now the way you split clips on this here is you select it and then swipe down across the top of the clip. So now I've got the wizard gold thing there in that bit of clip there. And if I play through that little uh, bit in that bit there. And if I go through to the next bit it's gone. Okay, so that's how you can shorten a title in one of your clips. Now let's just take another bit of clip and I'm going to take 22 seconds of this one and I'm going to tap on that to put it at the end of the clip. What about if I want it to be somewhere else? Maybe I can have something so that it'll go in here. So let's take this bit here. I'm going to select just a wee bit there and it should put it in where the timeline marker is. There you go. So basically, if you want it at the end, put your timeline at the end. If you want it in the middle, put your timeline where you want that bit of clip to go. It's put in a crossfade, which is the standard transition. And what I can do is I can tap on that there. And I can do some changes to this. Let's double double tap on that there. And tap on that bit in the middle. Okay, so at the moment it's on a cross dissolve. Or I can change it to whatever's with the theme. Let's come back out of that. Okay, so let's tap on that there, choose the theme. Now at the moment it's on a modern theme, but I can go for bright. I can choose to have theme music in there, and I can loop it in the background. Or I can have a fade in from black, fade in from white. Let's go for a fade in from black. Now you see the title there has changed. It's changed in accordance to the theme. So if you change the theme, you're going to change everything there. And let's move on a bit further to the uh, time when we've got a transition. But uh, what about if you want to put a Twitter name in there? So uh, the thing to do there is to go to... So there, instead of having a cross dissolve, we've got that uh, flare sort of transition. That's uh, instead. So that's a couple of different things you can do. There's not many different um, themes in this here. We've only got eight. I think with Pinnacle, you do get a lot more uh, choice. You've got uh, transitions which are separate that you can bring in and use however you wish. Then you've got those other things which are those montages which I think I don't see anything like that at all in this one here so a bit disappointing this uh, iMovie for iPad compared to uh, Pinnacle Studio. So what else can we do with this here we can go to the photos camera roll so for instance let's say we want to bring something in from the camera roll and I'm going to bring in this picture here. And I want to see how you get your pictures from the names in there too so that's fairly handy. Okay, now something else you can do with this here. We can have a starting position and an ending position. So let's say we're going to have a starting position of that. Let's move to the end. We have our Ken Burns type thing going on here. And we say that we're done. 
So it's quite easily set up a bit of Ken Burns on this here. So let's press play. Looking names in there too, so that's fairly handy. But uh, what about if you want to put a Twitter name in there? So uh, link to. Okay, so there we go. We've got some transitions happening there, and that was all because it was based in the uh, CNN report. Let's change the uh, project settings again, and we'll go for simple. The music's but, uh, changed. There, transitions so, uh, have changed, all based it out upon the, the simple one. So there you go, there's a few things to get you started using iMovie and I'm going to do some more videos about iMovie and look into this in a little bit more depth. This is Dave Allen for Video Magical and for No Stylus. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon.